Installing an EMB can sometimes be a little bit confusing for some people, preferably those who don't have English as their first native language or speaking language. So I had someone ask me to and help them install Super Turtle Lighting Mod based ENBs, which actually isn't very hard. You simply go to the Super Turtle Lighting Mod page and use Nexus Mod Manager. That's pretty much half the battle right there. Next up we go to the Witcher Bin X64 and that's where we're going to put our reshade. Now if you've already downloaded the reshade like I have done so before, then we take around here and usually the files you want are the reshade file, reshade FX, and reshade shader 64 DLL or 32 DLL depending on your game or depending on the reshade itself. Now that's where you go to the reshade 64 DLL or 32 but we'll go 64 DLL in my case and you're supposed to rename it to D3 D11. Instead I wrote Ron Burgundy like an asshole. Super Turbo Lighting Mod Enhanced Reshade and Extreme Graphics tier is one of the more simpler reshades to install. In fact, it's insanely simple. First, obviously, we have to download it manually and follow the instructions to the letter. Follow them exactly how you see them, actually, because that's the best way to yield results. Extract and copy contents of the reshade folder plus four other files in your x64 folder where your Witcher 3 executable is located. This one already includes the reshade for you. It's as simple as literally clicking it open. Now you'll notice that this reshade uses the reshade 32 executable. So it's as simple as clicking and dragging everything you see here into your game folder. And you're good to go with this reshade. It's that simple. That's why it's one of my favorites. Hey there. Go, go. Now let's say you want to install another reshade, a different one that isn't as simple as to give you everything right at the bat without having to look for anything else. So Let's do Visual Enhanced Project Evolve BAW Edition by Black Raven 90. First off, to start, you will need to delete all your prior reshade stuff. So please go back to step one at the beginning of the video and reinstall all your reshade information. Well, first let's delete it all, and then we will move on to reinstalling reshade. So go back to step one, input the original reshade binaries, and so on back in here x64 file Once that's done, we move on to installing the reshade folders that come with this particular preset. A simple click and drag. Now, make sure you follow the instructions for each reshade to the letter. I know, you may have installed tons of reshades, but on occasion sometimes there might need to be a slight change or tweak and sometimes you can't leave uh, D11 the D3 D11 file from a previous reshade. It could be incompatible, there could be an issue. Maybe you might have even forgot to put the effects reshade file in the directory. This has happened to me numerous times before. I'm sure it's happened to others. Even seasoned veterans of reshade modding can make a small mistake that could lead to running your game and immediately you get the text that says file not found and in red bold print the error message coming from the file and you have to do it again, but start from scratch and do it from the beginning. Because we're only human, we're corporeal beings, we make mistakes, we're totally fallible, believe me. I know I seem infallible, but I'm very fallible. You should have seen the dump I took this morning. Well, anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will probably have this done in Spanish, 
so it'll be easier for people to understand. So please bear with the channel when the Spanish version pops up because I know uh, most of my viewers are American and don't speak other languages or don't care to. I don't know. I'm just trying to be all across the board. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Remember, I have a Twitch and a Twitter. Uh, I play Overwatch. You can watch me fail and then cry in my mechanical keyboard with Sven and the rest of the gang. And I will see you later. Hopefully this helps someone. If I made any mistakes, feel free to say so. And then I will do another video from start to finish. Live timing, you know, no voiceover crap. Just a knock it out right there so there's no mistakes made. Or if I make a mistake, you'll be able to see what I did wrong and avoid that when I fix it.